On behalf of the Gentac Alliance, I'll be speaking on surgery for sporadic aneurysms of the aortic root in ascending aorta. My name is Chris Malasery. I'm a cardiac surgeon at Northwestern Memorial Hospital and professor of surgery at Northwestern University. I also serve on the Marfan Foundation Professional Advisory Board. Today I'll be referencing two important clinical practice guidelines, one from the Americans recently published in 2022 and the second from the Europeans published in 2014. I'll first discuss appropriate timing for aortic surgery for patients with aortic aneurysm. Recent 2002 American guidelines on aortic disease features an option for earlier surgery for patients with aortic aneurysm, particularly if done by experienced surgeons in a multidisciplinary aortic team. Previous threshold for aortic surgery was 5.5 centimeters. This has been pushed lower to an aneurysm size of 5.0 centimeters. The normal size of the ascending aorta is 3.2 centimeters, and as this bell-shaped curve shows, most people have aortas ranging from 2.5 to 3.5 centimeters. It is very uncommon for people to have an aneurysm of 4.0 centimeters or greater. But it is in these aneurysm patients that we're most concerned about aortic dissection. And this study shows that of people who do have an acute type A aortic dissection, that's a tear in the ascending aorta, that the average size aorta in this group is 5.3 centimeters. The risk of aortic dissection, which is a surgical emergency, increases as the aneurysm gets larger. This diagram shows that that risk increases steeply after 5.0 centimeters. It's studies like these that help inform physicians as to when aneurysms need to get repaired. Hence, current clinical practice guidelines by both the Americans and Europeans favor aortic surgery when the aneurysm reaches 5.5 centimeters. There are other risk factors that should be considered, which include rapid growth, symptoms or small stature, and planned pregnancy. New in the 2002 American guidelines is a recommendation to proceed with surgery at an even lower threshold of 5.0 centimeters, provided that that operation can be performed by an experienced surgeon and a multidisciplinary aortic team. I'll next discuss what type of operations are offered for patients with aneurysms of the aortic root in ascending aorta. New in the 2002 American guidelines is the option of the valve-sparing aortic root replacement for patients with aortic root aneurysm. Patients with an aortic root aneurysm will require an aortic root replacement, and there's two ways to do this operation. One is with a valve replacement, also called the Bentel procedure. The other is to do a valve-sparing aortic root replacement, otherwise called David procedure or the Yaku procedure. Depicted here is the aortic root replacement with a valved conduit. So the diseased aortic root, which is too big, is resected along with the native aortic valve. It is replaced with a conduit that consists of a valve, which can either be mechanical or a biologic valve, which is housed inside a Dacron graft as a single unit. Aortic root replacements can also be done with a valve sparing technique. Here in panel A, you can see a heart with a large aortic root aneurysm, shown by the bulge in the middle. In the B panel, the aortic aneurysm is completely resected, sent to pathology. In panel C, the diseased aorta is replaced with a Dacron graft. And most importantly, the native aortic valve is spared and repaired if needed. The valve is resuspended inside the Dacron graft where it functions normally. Panel D shows the completed repair with the valve inside the Dacron graft. The aneurysm is completely replaced. Coronary arteries are reimplanted. The new recommendations rely on increasing data that shows that valve sparing aortic root replacement can improve survival when compared to patients who have a Bentol procedure. We, along with other institutions, have shown in a propensity bash fashion, the patients who do get the David procedure live longer than patients who get a Bentol procedure. 
This has led to current clinical practice guidelines, both by the Americans and Europeans, that give a nod towards valve-sparing aortic root replacements for patients with aneurysms of the aortic root, as long as it's done by an experienced surgeon in a multidisciplinary aortic team. In summary, there are two new features of the 2022 American guidelines on aortic disease. The first is that elective aortic surgery is now reasonable for patients with aneurysms of 5.0 compared to 5.5 centimeters in previous aortic disease guidelines, as long as it's performed by experienced surgeons in a multidisciplinary aortic team. The second is that those same experienced surgeons should be able to offer the valve-sparing aortic root replacement for patients with aortic root aneurysm. Thank you for your attention. My name is Chris Malasery.